brand I knew one called Who's Right. Basically, it's who's telling the truth right. or who's lying, whatever you want to call it. We're going to give you a statement that is true, and then we're going to ask you a question about that. And one of the things that we're saying is true, and one of those things is false. Who's playing today? Oh, okay. Today we have Rita. Rita's in the, in the magenta. She was born and raised in New Orleans. And then we also have Joy. Joy, where are you from? From Minnesota. All right, Joy. So. All right, so here's how we start. First, you guys are going to rock, paper, scissor. You guys know that game, right? Okay, and then and then the winner will decide whether they want to answer the questions or whether they want to force the other person to answer the questions. Mm -hmm. Because if you get two out of three right, you win. If you don't get two out of three right, you lose, and the other person wins. Got it? Rock, paper, scissor. Here we go. One, two, three, go! Paper covers rock. Rita, you win. Do you want to answer questions, or do you want to sit in the chair and wait to see what happens? I want to answer. All right. Join the seat. All right. Sure. Okay. okay. Tom Hanks collects memorabilia from the 1940s. This is true. This is true. All right. The question you have to answer is, what kind of memorabilia does he collect? Okay, so Rita, look at my eyes. Tom Hanks collects typewriters. Okay, think about it. He's an actor, he's a writer, he's a producer. He loves things that are antique and beautiful, so he collects a lot of typewriters, and he doesn't necessarily use them to write his scripts, but he uses them to, to give him inspiration. This I know to be true. I saw it on Oprah. They were talking about it. It's something that he collects. Okay, what's great about what you just said is you're right about one thing. It was on Oprah. That is a good, either lucky guess or you're using it. He was on Oprah talking about it, but everybody knows what Tom Hanks' passion is. Space. Uh -huh. He collects things from the 40s dealing with rockets. Buzz Aldrin gave him a pin from when he went you up. You love to drop things. names in your lives. You love I did a TV show with Buzz Aldrin. Name he drop. was the second guy up there on the moon. I'm just telling you, it's You're telling us facts about Buzz Aldrin. It's not, not facts about the typewriters that Tom Hanks collects. All right. Hanks collects typewriters, typewriters or space stuff. Who's right? You say, so you say that he collects space stuff from the 40s. And this is where I love, because when you're not thinking, sometimes it, we weren't into space in the 40s. There wasn't I, any space stuff. My initial thing was to go with her, but because of the movies that he's been in. Exactly. You tripped you. Your first mind, this is the first baby. one. Rita's down one. Joy, you're in it. You're in it. You're in it. Joy has one. Rita has none. Rita, you have to get this one right. Okay. Otherwise, Joy steals it. Okay, so this is, here we go. The iPad, the iPod, and the iPhone, these are all products made by Apple. This is true. Now, the question you have to answer is, what does the I in these products stand for? Now, go ahead. I happen to know that the I stands for a few different things. It stands for internet. It stands for individual. It stands for instruct, inform, inspire. <laughs> So that's my answer. So I, it's, Steve it's, Jobs had six different meanings. Don't you worry about what Steve Jobs was right. doing. I'm telling you what the I stands for. He was a very, he, he delved into a lot of things right. and he wanted that I to mean a lot of things. Rita, I know I lied the first time. Mm -hmm. But think about Steve Jobs and the simplicity. Think about this, the simplicity of the products they made. The I stands for one word in genius. They call it the genius bar. That's it. It doesn't stand for six different things. He, he didn't has work that led way. you astray before. Think very carefully. <laughs> Who's right? <sighs> you're yeah. going to go with me, and you're going to say that it is genius, because it would make sense. Yes. Yeah, However, Rita, I got you again. <laughs> if that was telling the truth, Joy, you win. Switch seats. Switch seats. Yeah. Rita, have a seat.
people always, always choose the box. box. I know. They always choose the box. What are you going to do? Come on, I'm going to choose the box. There you go, Joy. Live at large. You had nothing when you walked in the door. You gave up $500 at noodles, and instead you have... It's an old pinball machine. It was 25 cents. Thanks for being on the show.